What's up guys, welcome to Formative Film School, I'm Ted with the A-Team, and I'm here with Justin Jones. Justin Jones is a hip-hop DP who shot music videos for Hobson, Zayn, Wiz Khalifa. Today he's here to talk about the three different styles of music videos and how to tell the difference. The first style of music video is going to be the performance style music video. Uh, that's the song and the artist performing the video in one or multiple locations. So if you guys have seen Kendrick Lamar's Humble, I think that'd be a great example. He cuts in between different locations, but the entire time Kendrick Lamar is there singing. So one of my favorite performance videos would have to be Hobson's Ill Mind 7. And since it was strictly a performance-based music video, we had to kind of make it a little more interesting. So we chose like an epic location, very wide and vast as the dry lake bed. And then we used some cool camera movements and a jib and kept it a little more interesting. So the next style of music video would be the storyline music video. Uh, you usually take aspects of the lyrics of the song or the vibe of the song and create that into like a narrative piece. Gotcha. So one of the first examples that I'll think of is Turn Down For What? Uh, it is based on the lyric, turn down for what? These characters just get bigger and bigger and crazier. Uh, but the entire time, no one is singing or performing. You don't see Little John anywhere in that video. You're just seeing this crazy story unfurl throughout the night. You see this a lot in country music videos. A good example would be Chris Stapleton's Fire Away. It involves a man living with his wife and she has a mental disorder. Yeah, it's essentially just a short film with that music pack playing in the background. So our last style of music video is gonna be the experimental music video. And that music video has either neither performance or storyline or a mix of both. It's just all around kind of weird and strange. A lot of these are a little more risky, a little more kind of on the weird side, and it's kind of a hit or miss if it's gonna be a good, you know, a success. So a cool example and one of my favorites would be a Diplo Set It Off music video. And that is super simple. It's just a bunch of strippers on one long continuous stripper pole. They add in some like crazy effects. It ends up in space and it's crazy, but it doesn't have anyone, you know, singing the song and it doesn't really have a storyline. It's just something kind of wild and crazy to keep the viewer engaged. And it's not related to the lyrics at all. The at only all. lyric in that Diplo song is set it off. So what's an example of an experimental music video that you've done? That would have to be Dumb Blonde's White Lightning. Uh, they came to me with kind of uh, just a mood board of what they wanted. It didn't really have anything to do with the song. It was just, you know, beautiful imagery. So there's a lot of different kinds of mixes that you can do. A lot of the time you'll see performance and story music videos, or you'll see story and experimental. So you can see mixes of these, but these are the three general categories of music videos. So there's the episode of Formative Film School with Justin Jones on the three classifications of music videos. I'm Ted from the A-Team. Leave a comment below with the music video classify it and tell us why. We'll be picking the best comment and giving them a try eight. So make sure to find us on social media, Aperture Photo, find Justin Jones at Justin Jones DP, and we will catch you guys next time.